Hi everyone, welcome back to Point Hua Serial Series. Uh, today we have question number 45 and with this question we are starting with CAT 2017 now. So we have already covered 2022, 21, 20, 19 and 18. So five years questions. This is the uh, sixth year that is 2017 that we are discussing now. So let's start with the first question here. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 9, they are arranged in a 3 by 3 square grid in such a way that each number occurs once and the entries along each column, each row and each of the two diagonals, they add up to the same value. If the top left and top right entries of the grid are 6 and 2 respectively, then the bottom middle entry is which one? Okay, this is what the question is asking. So, first of all, if I look at this uh, uh, information, it says each number occurs once. So, I first of all did not understand what is the point of giving 2 as an option. When you are already telling the top left and top right entries are 6 and 2. So, how can any other entry be 2? Anyways, that option is ruled out. But yes, I do not expect CAT authorities to do these kind of mistakes in the exam. Uh, possibly they want you just to be uh, smart enough to straight away eliminate an option. Now, we are left with 1 and 4. What next? If I make that grid, the first thing first, all the rows, they have the same sum and we have all numbers from 1 to 9. If I have all the numbers from 1 to 9, that means sum of all the numbers is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so forth up to 9, you can easily add them up or you also know there is a formula for that n into n plus 1 by 2, which is equal to 45. So, sum of all the rows should be equal to 45. Uh, sorry, uh, sum of all the uh, cells in the grid should be 45. That means sum of each row should be 15 because all of them are equal. So, sum of each row should be equal to 15. Similarly, sum of each column should also be 15. The diagonal should also add up to 15. He has clearly written that, that each column, each row and each of the diagonals, they add up to the same value. So, every row add up to 15. So, every column should also add up to 15 and every diagonal should also add up to 15. Then he says top left corner is 6. So, this value is 6. Top right corner is 2. So, this value is 2. What can be the bottom middle entry? That means he's asking about this. We have already ruled out two. We are left with one and four. Let's try them one by one. First of all, if this is six, this is two. Six plus two is eight. After eight, I have seven over here to make it 15. If I use option A, that is equal to one. So if I write one here, seven plus one is eight. And this should also add up to 15. So seven plus one is eight. Eight plus what is 15? That is seven. But how can I write 7 again? So by that logic, option A is gone. By that logic, option A is gone. I hope you understood my point here. Let's just eliminate that. Let's just remove it. What if it is 4? If I write a 4 over here, then 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus what is 15? That will be again 4. So once again, I have to write 4 over here, which also is not possible. I cannot write the same value twice. So, by that logic, even 4 is gone. So, 2 was anyways gone. 1 and 4 are also gone. What are we left with? We are left with none of these. So, therefore, the right answer for this question is none of the above. An aptitude way of solving it without using any formula or equations or anything. That's all. Thank you very much.